Hey Ubers! Vivian here with another tutorial. This time I'm using Scraps of Darkness's Gypsy Summer Kit. It's my second video tutorial specifically focusing on the color and creativity add-ons. These are tags that came in the base kit. I'm just loving them. And I just dry embossed them using a Sizzix um, dot matrix embossing folder. And one of them is embossed and the other one is debossed, which just means that it's the reverse side of uh, the embossed piece. Um, and you can achieve different effects and different patterns using one or the other. As you can see with the embossed, as I run the gelatos on top um, that came in the creativity add-on, um, it makes contact with the raised dots. And on the tag on the right, it um, colors everything except the dots. So the effect is different and it's it's worth playing around with um, using the embossing folders that you have. I really love Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft Gelatos. The pigments are really beautiful and vibrant and there's a nice variety and they're just so convenient in that little sort of lipstick. The consistency is also just like lipstick and so it's very easy to apply pigment. And as you can see, when you add a little misting of water, it becomes so easy to blend them. And then you get this funky effect and it all just blends together really nicely. Um, if you apply the gelatos onto a wet surface, I find that the pigment um, applies much thicker and with more intensity. Um, if you apply the gelatos onto a dry surface, um, it's, it's a little bit less intense. And these tags are really great because as you can see that linen grain um, is brought out just a little bit more with the beautiful colors that were included in the creativity add-on this month. I actually didn't end up using these tags on my card project, but I did want to show you um, what fun you can have just playing around with the embossed and debossed surfaces of um, uh, cardstock that you send through your duck cut machine. <laughs> Sorry, that's my dog. She wants to go on my lap. Hold on. In my first video using the Gypsy Summer Kit from Scraps of Darkness, I used the stamp that came in the color add-on from the same company, Deep Red. And this, in this video, I'm using both. I'm using this heart one that came in the base kit, and I will be using the beautiful floral flourish that came in the color add-on. The pretty images and graphics that I'm stamping were stamped using the Stamper's Big Brush pens that are also from Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft that came in the color add-on for this month. And today, I just want to talk a little bit about hills and valleys. So um, I really love experimenting with different ways to create texture in my projects, mostly so that I can create little hills and valleys where pigment can um, pool if you're misting, can pool in those little valleys. And um, the hills that you create can be a great uh, surface that you can run like pigment ink or chalk ink on top of. And today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. But I laid down some masking tape here as you can see and then I gessoed it um, so that it uh, takes pigment more readily. Um, but I made sure as I laid down the masking tape to um, create wrinkles because that's what makes it all very interesting. And instead of doing my vascular effects that I will always love, um, today I'm just doing little droplets with my hot glue gun. So the masking tape is going to create little hills and valleys and these little droplets of hot glue are also going to create areas where um, pigment can um, pool if you were to use mists around it. And the very top areas are very easy to run a little uh, chalk pigment um, pigment, chalk ink edger or what have you on top of to uh, really exaggerate the, um, the textures. Once I had the droplets down in a pattern that I liked, I went over those as well with a little bit of gesso so that um, they would take any pigment more easily as well. And I'm trying to leave some air stamped areas uh, clearly visible so that I don't lose those beautiful stamped shapes. 
Um, today, um, as you'll, you're seeing right now, I'm using the gelatos um, right on top of the masking air, masking taped areas. And as you can see, the 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 lipstick-like pigment is getting caught in the ridges. And um, I'm going to do this with a couple of different colors that came in the creativity add-on. This is on a mixed media card set that also came from uh, the creativity add-on, and that's from Strathmore. So it's a nice, thick, substantial, um, heavyweight cardstock. And um, the great, great asset to these gelatos is that I think they really blend so beautifully with one another, um, sort of seamlessly, and it's very, very easy to create really pretty ethereal, uh, natural, softly blended um, surfaces. And here you can see the blue is also getting caught on those ridges that we created with the masking tape. And then the darkest color purple. And I missed it here and there to help things blend better. And as you can see, the hills and valleys that I created with the hot glue droplets and the masking tape are really doing my work for me. I'm just laying down color and it's getting stuck in the crevices that I've created. And I just, I really love working that way. Um, and same goes for the dry embossing. You run that dry embossing folder through your die cut machine and you create those hills and valleys and um, you can add media to it to create some beautiful effects. These blossoms were included in our base kit as well as the leaves and I'm running the purple gelato on top of the uh, ridges in the petals and it brings those out beautifully. Very easy, very fast. And what I'm trying to show you here is the, the tiniest of little hills and valleys that were already sort of pressed into the beautiful fabric that these blossoms were made from. And just, you know, why not bring those out more? So just running a little gelato over it, just lightly, makes it just that much more special. So I'm, this is the, what I'm doing right now was the topic of my last video. So if you want to know more details about what I'm doing here, you can watch my last video that I made for Scraps of Darkness. But I'm using the paper crafter crayons on top as a final step to really um, pump up the color and draw some extreme attention to the wrinkles that were created by my masking tape and the uh, hot glue droplets. And this is just sort of grunging it up a little bit more. And um, I mentioned this in the last video too. The beauty of these paper crafter crayons is they add a soft waxy sheen that's more noticeable when you look at it in, in the light, in soft natural light. Here I used a soft um, tangerine-like color and yellow to mimic the colors in the blossoms that will be the focal image of this very mixed media card. So let me show you what it looks like close up. You can see those ridges are really exaggerated with the purple gelato and the waxy paper crafter crayons. And even on flat surfaces, those um, the melted paper crafter crayons is kind of neat, spontaneous looking. And these are all just the colors that were included in the kit. So I'm just adhering my blossoms and my leaves that I altered just a little bit with a light touch of the gelato without anything else. And that's the final card. The um, paper surface that was used for this card, I must say, withstood all my mixed media abuse very well. Once everything was dry again, it had its shape and it was nice and firm. Um, and these cards come with envelopes as well. So I think I'm going to be using them all up. So here's a close up of the blossoms with just the dry gelato run easily on top of the ridges and the um, masking tape and hot glue effects. They, it bubbled up a little bit when I put the heat tool on it, which I really loved. 
And here's a shot of the final card. I hope you enjoyed this project and um, that you will subscribe to my channel here on YouTube, Contadina K, if you haven't already. And visit me on my website, www.contadinak.com for more inspiration. And be sure to check out scrapsofdarkness.com for all the wonderful mixed media ingredients that were used to create this project today. Thanks again. Bye.